If you had invested in the largest real estate company in Europe, Vonovia, at the top, you would have lost 74% of your hard-earned money until just a couple of weeks ago. How did that happen? How can a real estate company fall 74% in value while real estate prices here in Germany rise by 14.2%? after inflation at the same time. What went wrong? That's what you guys have been asking and that's what we will find out together in this German Real Dot Estate vlog. Let's start with Vonovia's rise to becoming the largest real estate company in Europe, the factors that led to their downfall and if you should invest in Vonovia right now. Is it a good time to buy right before the turnaround happens or will Vonovia end up the same way another German company did? Wirecard. The story of Vonovia, or Deutsche Ennington as it's called by that time, starts in the early 2000s. With a little over 4 billion Deutschmark from its Japanese parent company Nomura Holdings, Deutsche Ennington acquired 64,000 flats that were owned by the Deutsche Bahn, the German National Railway Company. Don't ask me why a railway company owned over 100,000 flats in the first place and don't ask me why a Japanese company bought most of them with a mortgage from the German government. This whole sh stinks already. And that's why there were also allegations that the politicians involved in the sale were bribed with 5 million Deutschmark. But the shopping spree of Deutsche Ennington didn't stop there. They bought their competitor BEG Heimbau with about 10,000 flats. They bought thousands of flats from Allianz from the German energy companies RWE and E.ON and of course more flats from the German government. Must be amazing if you have pockets that are billions of euros deep. Eh? In 2005 alone they bought 152,000 flats, the largest purchase of flats in a single year in German history. And after a little slippery slope during the global financial crisis in 2008-2009 the private equity company Terra Firma helped them out of with 500 million euros, all signs were on big growth for Deutsche Ennington. And what do you need for growth? Money. And where can you get more money than anywhere else? From the stock market. So Deutsche Ennington was planning for their IPO in 2013, which didn't go that well to be honest. Why? Because they had a lot of debt and they don't seem to learn from it. But we'll come to their downfall in just a moment. Their second try to become listed on the German stock market worked in 2013. So now there's only one more thing left to do in order to become the number one real estate company in Germany. Getting rid of their biggest competitor Gagfa. They used their money from the IPO and bought Gagfa in 2015 for 3.9 billion euro. And this marks the birthday of Vonovia, as it's now called. The largest real estate company in Germany by far. That is about to become the largest real estate company in Europe. In 2016, they entered the Austrian market by buying their competitors Convert Immobilien and Buwok which made them instantly the largest real estate company in Austria. And after entering the French and the Swedish market, Vonovia made a profit of more than 1 billion euros for the very first time in the company's history in 2018. And with their majority ownership of Deutsche Wohnen in 2021, which they tried to get done for 5 years, they were the undisputed heavyweight champion in the German and the European real estate industry. And you know how the saying goes, don't you? What goes up must come down. And if you take a look at the share price, that is exactly what is happening in 2021 with Bonovia losing 74% in value. But how did that happen after that meteoric rise? What went wrong exactly? How did Bonovia go from a billion euros in profit in 2018 to a 2 billion euros loss just 3 years later. When looking at the situation in detail, we can point out 4 different factors. The most obvious reason for the beginning of their downfall might be the same reason why the stock price exploded in the first place. Germany experienced a property boom like never before. In 2018, average property prices increased by 7.2% after inflation. 9.3% in 2019, 
9.6% in 2020 and 14.2% in 2021. And remember, this is average property prices after inflation. And now in 2022, we have minus 0.7% after inflation. We talked about it in a video a couple of weeks ago that this doesn't mean that the party on the German real estate market is completely over and the real estate bubble is bursting now, but the music has certainly slowed down. One reason why property prices fell by minus 0.7% is because of the high inflation rate. And I'm not gonna tell you any secret when we look at the inflation rate in the Eurozone. We all felt it in our wallets. And while the overall inflation rate was up by about 10% only, the construction inflation was up by 20% or almost 30% for steel. High inflation means higher construction costs. Means what? Vonovia stopping all their construction projects in early 2023. And that's factor two for their downfall. That they didn't add new properties to their portfolio. They just sit on the old properties they have already. Which brings us to the biggest reason why their stock price plummeted by 74%. And this may be something they never recover from. With rising inflation came not just higher construction costs, but also higher mortgage rates. In 2022, mortgage rates here in Germany quadrupled from 1% to 4% and they stayed there ever since. Now that is a big problem for Vonovia because they have more than 64 billion euros in debt. And as of making this video, the company is not even worth 18 billion euros. Oopsie daisy. I'm not saying they financed all their 64 billion in debt with 1% and now they have to refinance with 4%. But if they did, just as an example, that would mean almost 2 billion more in interest payments every single year. Now 2 billion is a lot of money and it's also a lot of money for a company that made only 2 billion euros profits in 2021 and lost 640 million euros in 2022. Can you see the problem they were digging themselves into over the decades? If you grow only by acquiring competitor after competitor after competitor, by lending super cheap money with virtually no interest rate, it's a great business strategy, but it's also a huge bet that interest rates will not rise. Because if they do, as they did over the last two years, you are big time. You may be so that you have to ask our Chancellor Olaf Scholz for money, which they apparently do in a meeting just this month. It's a major achievement that we performed so well in this challenging market environment, said Vonovia CEO Rolf Buch. Prof, your company lost 74% in value. That's three quarters just poof, gone. <laughs> what world are you living in? You are losing billions of euros every year. You are strapped for cash. So you may be forced to do a capital increase and give out new shares, which will make your share price go down even more. And you're trying to sell properties worth billions of euros in an effort to not run out of money. This fire sale could be the tipping point from which Vonovia could recover or this could be the nail in the coffin. Because if they sell properties, we will know finally what their portfolio is really worth. Who knows which value they place on their properties in their balance sheet. This brand new property in the middle of Munich may be worth a factor of 32 if you divide the annual rent by the purchasing price. It's pretty pricey because you need 32 years of rent payment until the property paid for itself, but it's brand new and it's in the middle of Munich. Maybe it's worth it. This property from 1954 in the middle of nowhere is certainly not worth factor 32. What factor did Vonovia put on the properties in their portfolio? We'll find out soon when they really sell their properties if they place the realistic valuation on them or if they have moon prices that nobody will pay. And if that's the case, good night stock price. And that brings us to the real question. Should you invest in Vonovia right now? I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. The first instinct that came to your mind when you saw the 74% drop in stock price. Man, if Vonovia comes back to old heights, I'll be rich. That's true. But what's the probability for that? It can happen, but Vonovia can also become the next Wirecard, or the next Fannie Mae, or the next Telecom, or the next Freddie Mac. 
Shall I continue? The environment around Vonovia has changed and not in their favor. And that's why the stock price reacted accordingly. Hoping that the stock price will just magically go back to old heights is a little naive in my opinion. Invest in Vonovia, don't invest in Vonovia, do with your money, whatever you want. But don't blame me for it. Because you're most likely an adult. Because we're on YouTube and not on TikTok. See you in the next video.